happiness is gone, dead and buried under the weight of a system that has failed us. It's not just missing, it's been systematically eradicated, replaced with a dull ache of despair, a constant reminder of what we've lost. We are cogs in a machine that chews up our dreams and spits out despair. This isn't about a bad day or a personal tragedy. This is about a societal structure designed to strip away joy. It thrives on our silent compliance, our acceptance of a broken system. We're told to work harder, dream smaller, and be content with scraps. But contentment isn't a virtue. It's the death of ambition. We were promised a world of possibilities, a chance to carve our own paths, to chase our own definitions of success. Yet here we are, drowning in debt, overworked and utterly hopeless. This isn't living, it's merely existing. Our potential, our individuality, it's all being crushed under the weight of a system that benefits the few at the expense of the many. This isn't an accident, it's by design, and that's the hardest pill to swallow. I used to have dreams, ambitions that burned bright, fueled by youthful optimism. Now those dreams are buried under the weight of responsibility, the burden of just getting by. I'm a ghost of my former self, haunted by what could have been. The system whispers in our ears, telling us to be realistic, to accept our lot in life. It encourages conformity, stamping out any flicker of individuality. We are taught to be good little workers, not independent thinkers. Our worth is measured in productivity, not in the content of our character. My spirit feels broken, my aspirations ground to dust. I mourn for the person I could have been, the life I could have lived. But instead I'm trapped in this cycle of despair, another statistic in their game of control. The worst part is, They've robbed us of our ability to even recognise our own unhappiness. We're so busy surviving, we don't have the time or energy to realise we're slowly dying inside. Walking through this world feels like navigating a minefield. Every step could be your last, every interaction laced with suspicion. The system has created an environment of fear, where trust is a liability and vulnerability a weakness. We are pitted against each other, encouraged to see our neighbours as competition. We're told there's not enough to go around, so we claw and scratch for every crumb. But the truth is, there's more than enough. It's just being hoarded by those at the top. We live in the ruins of their greed, surrounded by the wreckage of their broken promises. The air is thick with the stench of their hypocrisy, their empty platitudes echoing in our ears. They talk about unity while sowing division, about prosperity while we struggle to survive. This isn't a society, it's a battlefield, and we're not citizens, we're casualties. The people in power, the ones who built this system, they don't understand, and frankly, they don't care. They hide behind their wealth, their privilege, their carefully constructed narratives of success. They preach about hard work and bootstraps, completely oblivious to the reality of our lives. Their words are hollow, their promises empty. They talk about fixing the system while actively benefiting from its flaws. They offer band-aid solutions to deep-seated problems, more concerned with maintaining the status quo than enacting real change. Their indifference is a slap in the face, a constant reminder of their disconnect from our reality. They don't see our struggles, our pain, our desperation, and even if they did, they wouldn't understand. They've never known true hardship, never felt the sting of systemic failure. They are architects of our misery, and they sleep soundly in their ivory towers while we're left to pick up the pieces.